Fox 2 News. News that works for you. Starts now. A stunt designed to test the Twitter's attention to detail goes real bad real quick. The experiment had a Detroit police officer posing as a purse snatcher. Not factored into the scenario, an FBI agent who wasn't in on the plan. Here's Fox 2's Charlie LaDuff. An FBI agent almost shot a Detroit cop yesterday at this gas station while filling up. It wasn't the agent's fault and it wasn't the cop's fault. It was the cop's bosses who came up with the lame brain idea to simulate a purse snatching and then invite a TV crew to film your reaction, Detroit. Well, the immediate supervisor of these cops had no idea this was going on until they called him all pissed off. The event takes place. The officer takes the purse, runs around the, uh, the gas station. As he's running, an off-duty uh, FBI agent is pumping gas. He witnesses the whole thing. He gets chased. He pulls his weapon. And uh, as he turns the corner around of the gas station, uh, he's stopped by another officer who identifies herself as a police officer and that uh, don't shoot, don't shoot, this is a scenario. That's the same description of events we got from four other ranking law enforcement officials, including Lieutenant Chuck Flanagan, a 28-year veteran of the Detroit Police Department. It's a tragedy waiting to happen. In fact, I understand an FBI agent did pull a weapon because he didn't believe it was a staged, uh, and some officers had to run forward to prevent him from possibly shooting an officer. We, we have enough robberies at, at gas stations that most people aren't going to assume it's a mock robbery. He had citizens who could have been hurt, a lot of people out here have CPLs now and carry weapons that, you know, they're tired of the crime that's going on in Detroit and they might want to stand up and help somebody that's in this type of situation. Uh, it just so happened it's, it's a gas station where the FBI fills up all their vehicles. This is the part of the story where we go to find the principals who put this boneheaded idea together and they dodge our camera. First, Sergeant Aaron Stevens, the head of public information for Detroit police. She won't come out. Inspector Dwayne Blackman from Homicide was there, but he won't come out either unless Sergeant Stevens will let him come out, and she won't come out, but he did tell me on the phone that it all went down just like that, except for the fact there was no gun, that simply the agent made a move. Late in the afternoon, Sergeant Stevens emailed me a statement. Now sit tight, I'm going to read the whole thing. Quote, WDIV Channel 4's request to have two members of the Detroit Police Department participate in its How to Be a Better Witness story was approved by DPD leadership. The simulated crime occurred in front of actual witnesses in order to demonstrate what the witnesses did or did not see, which is very important during the process of an investigation. WDIV's goal was to educate the public on safety and crime prevention. The demonstration involved an unarmed suspect played by a police officer, snatching a woman's purse as she, WDIV associate, exited a local gas station located at Michigan and 11th Street. As the unarmed suspect fled with the purse, an FBI agent who was coincidentally at the scene of the demonstration initiated a brief enforcement action, taking two steps forward, then was immediately informed by a uniformed police officer that there was no actual crime in progress. Ironically, this demonstration revealed that when a crime occurs in the community, we never know who will be watching. What happened after this incident? Oh, oh basically it was, do you want to do this again? And, uh, what? What do you, what? Do, do you want to do this scenario again? And uh, the officers were basically, uh, absolutely not. You mean not. to take two? Take two. Now remember, I haven't seen any videotape. But I tried. Now, no one in management here at WDIV would call me back to explain what happened. It's also important to remember that right now, Detroit Police Officer Joseph Weekly is on trial for manslaughter for the 2010 accidental killing of a seven-year-old girl, a situation made all the worse by a cable film crew being in tow. <laughs> They were after a homicide suspect. And who was in charge of the homicide squad back then? Inspector Dwayne Blackman, who's in charge of the homicide squad now. Who is at the scene of the purse caper? I mean, we have an officer right now fighting for his freedom because someone up the chain decided to accommodate television producers. At least that's the theory of the prosecution, uh, the A&E people. I look at this as uh, more theatrics. Somebody could have got hurt. 
And I think it's my job as a commanding officer of the 1st and 13th Precinct to make sure that anything like this never happens again. I reached James Craig, the new chief of police, who will take the job officially at the end of the month. He said he was outraged. This could have cost somebody their life, and he promised to get to the bottom of things. I'm assuming some heads will roll, and we'll stay on it in Corktown. Charlie Ladoff, Fox 2 News.